Old Martineau. Old yes. Martineau. Yes. And uh, invented in 1928. Exactly. Roughly. Yes. The first con concert was given in 1928. So basically, the, the idea basically is stayed the same. It was the same. Uh, at the very beginning, you had the, 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 the device that looked like this one, uh, which is called the ring, and it makes the, the gisandi. This was the first thing that you could hear. It was not exactly like this. It took uh, very different, but the idea was, was there. Coming from an idea of a radio telegraphist who is looking for his, uh, the frequency in which he would send the message. Mm -hmm. Finally, you choose the frequency and send, send your message. Fantastic. Uh, so it was the first device. Then, uh, something like, uh, I think, two or three years later, he came with a keyboard. Well, the keyboard now allows you to make definite pitches. And this was a, a real improvement because it, it, it gave the possibility of some virtuosity of sort of play scales and arpeggios and things like that. The, now, is this somehow related to the theremin? Well, basically, the idea is the same, except that with the theremin, you touch nothing. You you have uh, two uh, an antennas, mm -hmm. one for the for the volume and one for the pitch. Here, you have the pitch here as. Uh, this keyboard or this uh, uh, ring, and for the volume, you have this this uh, device here that you that you you press down. The more you press it down, the more it gives sound. But if you are almost very close to silence. I notice in some of the um, places in the Messiaen where the the beginnings of the notes, the attacks are quite varied. And uh, how do you control the varied, yes. how do you it, control the difference here, from here? Because this can be used slower or faster. If I do it, it it's something like more lourd. Now I can make it more uh, immediate. Mm -hmm. It could even be, but not in Messiaen, but it could be even be this. Wow. Almost percussion. Yeah, yeah, very much like so. There was also a, 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 what I would consider a stop on an organ, This the sound of very, very reedy low bass notes. Mm -hmm. how, how do you change the, the, the sounds on I, this I have the possibility of uh, changing the, the timbers. What you are referring to is probably this timber here, which is tutti, but tutti including nas nasia, M, mm, okay. nasi. So I, I, uh, I'm doing this at a certain moment. That's, that's, that's the, the one. You hear more uh, timbers like this one. Sometimes it is more aggressive. This way it was a, a dense feeling. <laughs> the feeling is very natural. It, it, I, do. I also I also noticed that the keyboard is responsive to your motion for vibrato. Exactly. Yes. This is this is one point. I must say that Maurice Martineau was a uh, cellist before okay. he went to this, and uh, he wanted to have the the vibrato of the cello, by the way. Do 
it again where I can have a reference to the side that's steady. There you go. It's, it's definitely the most alive sounding electronic instrument I've ever heard. You know, the Onda Martono it has a very human quality to it. It's that's, really, it's really incredible. That's why I am there. Yeah. Uh, because otherwise I wouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate all the, it's a great the time. Thing.